us, um, I guess our main driver once again is flexibility. So the fact that we've got uh, two coordinated arms to move together, so let's say simulating a human being, is, uh, is a very attractive feature. I think the other issues are with inbuilt video, vacuum and servo grippers, we've got a lot of flexibility of how we handle and manipulate different parts and how we identify them. So that gave us a toolbox of tools with one robot that would give us quite a lot of flexibility for different tasks. We've found with a few additional tools that we're actually able to move from, uh, for example, testing and configuring one product to a completely different product, probably in the matter of half an hour or so. In the two main tasks we've used Yumi for so far, which is helping in test and inspection and also in product assembly, uh, in the first few months of using Yumi in real production, we've probably already saved two man weeks a month, so that's roughly half a person, and uh, that's really only with the first product release that we've, uh, we've pushed through Yumi. So with the products that we already know we can assemble with Yumi, we're, we're heading well past saving a person um, with what Yumi's doing for us. And that's probably on the basis of, uh, of one shift five days a week. Um, so if, if we were to, to extend Yumi's operation, realistically he, he would have a payback of less than a year for us.